on my, my way to Shane's studio because he's gonna take my headshots today. I'm going to take actor headshots, but also some lifestyle. But it's really hot today in LA and whoa. It's also humid, my hair is not cooperating, so I'm gonna have to fix it a little bit when I get there. Just my time to take pictures of me. Okay, oh my god, this is great. So good, so good. Oh wait, do I have to pretend? Yes! I have to pretend like it's give me that smile, that that one. No, that no, the other one, the other one. Stop making that face. <laughs> I've had these skates for over a year and I'm still not extremely good. Like I can skate in the skates, like I can go straight and backwards, but I can't do any tricks. So I'm practicing my step overs. I think that's what they're called. YouTube anniversary passed. It was July 17th. It's July like 22nd today. Happy YouTube anniversary. You know, I deserve a coffee. Let's go get coffee. I went with some kind of pineapple drink instead. Oh my God. It tastes like candy like pineapple candy. I have been making videos on YouTube since July 17th, 2017. And at the beginning, it started off as random videos like, oh no, oh no. And then a few months later, I decided to start making videos in English and in Spanish. They were all about acting. So pretty early on, I decided to make this channel focused on acting. That's what I've been doing for all of these years. And also I just hit 17,000 subscribers today, which sometimes it feels like a lot. And then sometimes it feels like nothing because I have almost 600 videos. I know I have over 600 videos because I've deleted and unlisted so many videos. A year and a half ago, Cynthia D. Hiller and I did a monologue competition because she wrote a whole monologue book. And I finally, finally got to meet her on Wednesday. We were talking for an hour and I was literally like, okay, we need to go because I can stay here forever. So we said our goodbyes and as we are saying goodbye, I turn around and I see these two men walking like I'm just like so happy, like walking away smiling. And then I look up and like my brain freezes. Let me, let me show you what I did. So this is me walking away all happy. And then I look up and I see these two men and one of them is tall. And I immediately recognize him as Garrett Watts. And he was with Andrew Suwiki. And oh my God, I, this, this is exactly what I said. <clears throat> I had my glasses on. Oh my God, oh my God, this is not happening. And you know what he says? He says, yes, this is happening. And he was so sweet. I could not believe that I was meeting him because he's one of the very few YouTubers that I watch that I genuinely think we could be best friends and hang out and have so much fun. He just started having a conversation with me and I told him that, you know, I like his videos and he started asking me about me. He asked me, what am I doing here? I was like, oh, I came here to get coffee. He's like, oh yeah, this whole street is great. Somehow we started talking about my fiance when he, where he works. He could have asked me for my social security number and I would have been like, he was exactly the same person that he is in his videos. Amazing, sweetest. I pretty much blacked out. I was just answering his questions. Andrew was standing there. They were both smiling and come on brain. What do you want to say? Like, come on, you can't keep them forever. And then I was like, okay, can I have a picture? Is that okay? He's like, yeah, of course. And then look at their smiles. So genuine, like what the f I hope I run into him again because he was so sweet. Next time I'm going to be like, I'm paying for your coffee or whatever, wherever you're going. I'm not going to sit and, you know, drink or eat with you, but I just want to give you something because you're amazing. But what a dream come true. And on the week of my YouTube anniversary, 
beautiful. One of my favorite YouTubers. If you're not subscribed, I would love if you did. And if you ever want to give me a dollar, five dollars, whatever, just as a thank you for making the videos, if you enjoy them, I have put a link in my description because I would love to continue doing YouTube and I would love, love, love to make some money because I'm trying to go to the Southwest Actors Conference in Arizona this September. I've looked through my finances and they're not looking great. I just feel really, really guilty for like asking for all of this money and not putting in any myself, even though I would be making this these videos to share. Like the only way I can go to this conference is if you guys help me out. I'm contributing $300 right now to the Southwest Actors Conference. I'm fundraising $1,500 to be able to travel and stay and pay for the Southwest Actors Conference created by Bella Hibbs, casting director at Good Faith Casting. And um, I really hope I can go. So yeah, pause, pause, pause. I just heard that Shane sent me the photos from Monday. So let's go look at some of the photos. We gotta go home for this. Throw out the window. Yes, I was just listening to Audrey Helps Actors, a podcast, you guys, it is so good. We're here for my headshots though. So let's look at my headshots. I used Shane Isakowski. He's located in LA and he is an incredible artist. And he's also a professional photographer. I have worked with him before. And my hair is insane because it was so humid that day, which is fine because as long as the photo is good, the hair can be edited. And I'm trying to find my type so that I can market myself better. With this look, I wanted to be an office employee. So for a sitcom, some of them friendly and then some of them a little bit more sassy um, and then detective as well. <laughs> and then there's some just really silly ones. Then we went outdoors and my hair definitely calmed down because some of these are really good. These are more lifestyle because I also wanted to be able to give my current agents um, some good commercial shots. For this one, I wanted uh, like friendly girl next door. This one, I was playing around with different faces to be able to express a vulgar sidekick or vulgar employee. I think on, in this one, I was trying to be like more of a serious detective. I know my hair looks crazy. I know my hair looks crazy. But if we take away all of this crazy hairness, maybe that would work for a detective headshot, a friendly pediatrician, some kind of doctor. So I just wanted to get really sweet faces. Also, this could work for commercial. Now that I'm looking at these, I don't know if this shirt was the best choice. This one is giving me pediatrician, friendly pediatrician. I'm going to make a selection of maybe 15 of them and then send them to my agents so they can choose the ones that they want me to put on my casting websites. And then I'll send them over to uh, Shane so he can edit those final selects that I will put on my profiles. And next Saturday during my vlog, I will show you guys what photos I selected to go onto my casting websites as well as the ones that I already have there. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. And today I'm going to feature my friend Maria Gloria, who created this t-shirt right here. Go check out her videos, lots of lifestyle and makeup. I am so hyper right now from literally nothing because look at how much of the sugar I drink. I think I'm just excited because I met Garrett once. I can cry. Also go watch Garrett's video coming out July 25th. 